What's up, guys? We're back. We're back for this season two of Make the Break. Now is the beginning of the new year as far as I'm concerned, because September is when we're all back from vacation and ready to get back into the routine and do all the cool stuff. But I digress. For now, we're going to find out how to create illusions with AI. And I absolutely love these. The technique is quite similar to that of QR codes. In fact, in some ways, it's almost the same, but not the same. So we're going to try some together and I'm going to show you some I made. And yeah, should be fun. Now, the first thing we're going to have to do, as always, is go into our hugging face to download our tools, our main stuff. And that's the model that we're going to be using. The model is called Control V1P. SD 1.5 QR code monster. Now this QR code monster uh, is very helpful as well when we're creating QR codes. So you can definitely go ahead and try what we did in one of our previous videos with QR codes, but this time using this method that I'm going to do now, that is using the model because they've basically created a model for QR codes. So this makes your life easier when it comes to that. But that's a story for another time. Right now we're doing the illusions and we're still gonna use this because it uses the same principle, which is to take a black outline and create an image from that. So we're gonna download this 723 megabyte file. I'm gonna leave it in the description. And then we will be heading back to our stable diffusion. The model we downloaded is not a stable diffusion model. QR code monster is a, is a model for the control net. So I should have specified that earlier as well but we're gonna use that down here. Up here for the model that we're gonna use for stable diffusion, you can take your pick depending on what kind of image you're trying to do, if it's realistic, cartoony, etc. You probably already have models that you're used to that you like to use, so you can go ahead and use those. Depending on what you're looking for, you'll get different effects. So obviously this is something you're gonna to have to play around with. The next thing we're gonna do is in our control net, we're gonna to remember to enable the control net first things first, then in the model, we're gonna use the QR code which is downloaded. As far as the control weight, these are also things that you can play around with depending on the results you get. Maybe you want it to show more, maybe less. Don't be afraid to play around with these values. I'm just gonna put more or less random values or close to uh, what I think would be good. Uh, control weight, I would put it at, let's say 0.95, starting control step 0.15 and ending control step around 0.9. We want it to be balanced. Now, the next thing we want, you wanna get an outline of a subject that you're gonna be using to incorporate in the picture. We're gonna pick randomly just for the fun of it. And right now, we go with Donald Duck. For now, we'll write Masterpiece, Disney, Colorful, Ultra High Detail, Sharp Focus, Cinematic, Lightning, 8K. Again, these are things that you can play around with as you already know. You don't have to copy exactly what I wrote because mine is more or less random. I'm just showing you how to work it and then you're gonna have to min max uh, to get the details you want and in negative we're just gonna put blurry pixelated monochrome text writing numbers uh, watermark and these things that are typical uh, we're gonna choose the sampling method plus plus two I'm Keras and this is because I have Rav animated up there I'm going to change this to 1024 we'll put the sampling steps at 45 and that should be it. So now what it's going to do is it's going to try to fit this image within the world of Disney, within an image of Disney. And here we can change these and I'm going to show you multiple results I got for multiple different things. So this is our Disney with Donald Duck's incorporated face. If you squint a little bit, you can definitely see all the shapes that are included here. Now you can make the shapes less visible by making the control weight a bit slighter or more visible in some cases. So you can go all the way up to like two if you want to. So that all is going to depend on the results you're getting. And this is of course going to be linked also to the model you're using up here. Now here's another one we did with the same exact technique. If you look at this, it looks like bowls of flowers. But if you squint a little bit or minimize this picture, you will clearly see what it is. And what it is, is our good friend Nikola Tesla. As you can see, that's Nikola Tesla incorporated in this image. Let's see another one. So this one is a little bit more obvious, right? You can see that it's Nikola Tesla already without squinting or minimizing the picture. And I added with the, the touch of electricity because 
As we all know, Nikola Tesla is the father of electricity, the alternating current. He came up with most things that we use today, apart from the electricity, mobile phones. He, in the 1800s, he was already using a remote controlled boat that he created. So he created telecommunication at a distance, the radio, and a ton of other things. But I digress. Right here, the point being that we can see that it's Nikola Tesla incorporated in this image. And we can try so many different things for so many characters whose outline you have. For example, here we have the Beatles having a beer. Obviously, the faces and all of this can be fixed by changing your prompt and changing all your details of the picture. I didn't really focus too much on the hands and the faces and all of this because I'm just showing you the technique of making the picture. And, and then, of course, you can play around with all the little details to fix them. If we squint here, what we're going to see is John Lennon. Let me see if we can minimize that. There we go. Now it's much clearer. As we can see, it's John Lennon's outline. Here we got some guerrilla fighters with a clear definition of Che Guevara in the back. Again, if we minimize or use squint, you could see clearly that it's Che Guevara's face. Another one with Che Guevara. Here we got an Asian girl, which wasn't intended, but of course you can change all of that. But you can also see that it's gonna be Che Guevara in the background. Another Che Guevara one, this time with some Bolivians smoking their pipes and cigars. Some traditional Bolivian men. And you can see here that it's Che Guevara again, the whole outline of his face. Another Bolivian picture with men dressed in traditional Bolivian clothes, also having Che Guevara as the image that it's based upon. We can squint here and see it perfectly. So if we check the information, the parameters on this image I just showed you, you can see right here that it's masterpiece, Bolivian smoking cigars, zoomed out because sometimes the picture is too zoomed in, like you'll see the face of the Bolivian with the big cigar in his mouth. And I wanted to kind of get the sort of an image where there's multiple of them and it feels like it's in a little village or a little city. So I added zoomed out, sublime, breathtaking, high details, those classical things you would add. And then the negative prompts are also kind of classic. And for the rest, the sampler, etc., it's pretty much what we showed you earlier. This of course was the image that I used, the outline that I used. So you can even draw something yourself and use an outline. You can create an outline of yourself, add it into a picture of a logo, of a word. So here's an example that I used another one. For example, here we have an image of a shelf in a shop with the little blurry background, etc. It looks like somebody's standing right there between the aisles. If we zoom out a little bit, something starts to appear here. And again, I'm gonna ask you to squint to see what it says. It says spam. I actually added a word this time to this image to create this image. Here's another one from a different angle. Cans and a shop, people waiting in line to pay. But then when you zoom out, it says spam right here. Another spam one. Of course, I made it purposely very integrated, very subtle because I wanted that effect. I want it to be a little bit hard to find so that when you find it, it's a cooler effect, but you could definitely add more of the control weight here to make it protrude even more, to make it show even more if you want it to show a lot. This is the image that we used for the spam message. I did the same with break and I'm gonna show you the effects we got again. So as you can see here, it's already much clearer because I added a bit of control net weight to it. So you can see it more clearly. But if you squint again, it says very clearly break. Here's another one that's much less visible this time. So I diminished the amount of control net weight and you can see it here again. See, you can see break. You're gonna have to decide how much of it you, you want to show. And our final one that says break across these, but it looks like some kind of smoke, some kind of old building. So it's hard to tell unless you really focus or zoom out. So as you can see, you can create really awesome effects with this simple method to promote a logo or a business. So it's kind of a mix between two videos we've made already. One for the logos, if you remember that, and the other one for the QR codes. And this is kind of a combination of both where you can create really cool images, uh, be it for a t-shirt, for advertising, you know, for a logo, or just for fun to incorporate your own face or your own logo within a design you made. So the stuff you come up with can end up being super cool and super fun to make for you. I hope you enjoy this method and I really hope you share whatever you make with us because we love to see what you guys created. 
either on our Twitter, which you can follow, or by emailing us, and we will make sure to share everything that's really cool with everybody else. Well, that was it for this time, guys. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this kind of content so that other people can see it. Our channel is small, so it's not very visible. We would really appreciate that and do stay in touch because we're going to produce a lot of cool content in the coming days and weeks. Catch you soon.